intro. Da, 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 da. I think this hits a spot here. Bear with me while I do this intro song. Uh, oh. Enough of the black top. It's a fight, I'm ready to go. I would put my money on the other guy. What I already know. It's been a long time coming. The tables turn around. Cause one of us is going. One of us is going down. I'm not running. It's a little different now. One of us is going. message now I was never going you're the one that's going down one of us is going down I'm running it's a little different now one of us is going Puppies going down. Uh, I just wanted to pick up on where I left off and I forgot. Let's talk about this uh, six feet away crap. What the hell is that? And how stupid is that? In every way. <laughs> I just want to. I don't, I, really, I don't know whether to laugh or cry at this point. Uh, <laughs> okay, you know. Uh, you know, it's almost like they're just trying to say, Hey, screw you Americans, take this. See if you'll, see if you'll do this and this. Simon says, Six? Six feet apart? from the edge. Off uh, the cliff. See, six feet apart equals half an inch from the cliff. You go along with it. Okay. <laughs> First of all, Okay, I, I, like I said, I have a science degree, you know, biology, uh, major biology, double minor chemistry, and work experience, and just basic common, basic dose of common sense, which what I'm seeing is, wow, nobody on the road today, look at this, which I see lacking these days. I'm going to throw a word out to y'all and uh, try to throw a net out there. Hopefully, I mean, just, you know, just message me. 
if you knew the answer before I said it, because sometimes I feel really scared what people know and don't know. Okay, here's the word. Diffusion. Yes, it's in a science book, but gosh, I don't know. I think they teach it in high school now. Diffusion. Okay. Molecules. Air. Oxygen. Okay. Sneezing, coughing. Okay, let's go to, you know, viruses and coronavirus. And actually in my textbook when I looked it up, coronavirus is only spread through fluids and there should be a lot of them coming out if you really have this. But I don't, I don't think there's a coronavirus going around because what they're saying doesn't fit the definition of it. But nonetheless, whatever it is, you know, coronavirus. The only way, things are not spread by air that we breathe carbon dioxide or oxygen. It's not spread that way. And even if it were, here is key word, diffusion. Just light a candle. Prove it to yourself. Light a candle and, uh, you know, an aromatic candle. Candle. See how long it takes to where it just go, you know, in a, I don't know, 10, 20 foot room. Even a five foot even a and then, and then just measure off some tape and then just see if you stand six feet away from where you light the candle aromatic candle and see if you smell it you'll be smelling it 20 30 40 feet away because it moves with the air the molecules in the air but so that's somebody sneezes six feet away Okay, they did this on Mythbusters once. Go look up that episode if you don't believe me. Travels, I believe, a sneeze 13 feet. Okay, duh. So what's a six feet? That lends me to think if the government, you know, isn't just asking some homeless person, hey, how long or far do you think we should set the tape apart? Then they have another plan agenda for six feet apart. And uh, I'll quote from Fuller. Now, I got this information, uh, what I'm about to say from the Fullerton informer. He was, his theory is that they want you six feet away when they install that wonderful 5G spy grid kill system. They don't want anybody standing next to you so that they can laser beam in and, you know, zap your ass. Well, <sighs> uh, that, you know, I just... I just wanted to bring up the obvious. I mean, I guess it's so obvious to some people, like myself, that I didn't think to do a video on it. But just in case, you know, I get it. You know, some of the things I discuss in my videos, the science books, I get it. If you didn't go and have, you know get a science degree, yeah, you, you may not you may not know you might you be uh, inclined to believe this baloney. Just like if you start talking talking market values with me, I get a headache. I I just don't understand business protocols. They're over my head and, uh, and, I, and I hate it, you know, I just, but I'm, I'm good at math, you know, and, I, and I've got a book. My dad had this book, you know, before he died, The Coming Economic Earthquake. He kept talking about it for years. It's in the 2000s, you know, hey, you know, they they're keep spending money. They keep printing all fake dollar bills, fake hundred dollar bills, you know, can't keep doing that. One day the price of bread is just going to go up to to a dollar. And it's something in the grocery store. I was talking to the butcher. You know, he didn't buy all this crap either. These people are coming in with gloves and masks and, and then loading their groceries up. And he goes, now what about when they get home and they unload everything? Okay, and they take their gloves off. Are they going to wash all the stuff that they picked up? Because germs are carried, you know, by where, what you touch. Not what you breathe. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring that up though, uh, why do they want us six, six feet away and staying at home? Well, staying at home, okay, well, let's just, you know, I got an A in lo mathematical logic in college, okay. If coronavirus is a lie, and from my textbooks, I proved it to be so, also, nobody's at the hospitals, don't know anybody that has it, okay. Therefore, if it's a lie, 
therefore why they want people at home and well one would think you know yeah one of two things they want to just come in and invade